Hey everybody, Peach here, and today we're gonna to be building the DIY workout counter. Perfect for tracking the number of rounds or sets in your workout, regardless if you're doing CrossFit, circuit training, HIIT training, or simply bodybuilding or powerlifting. Now, I know what many of you are thinking, why the hell do I need this? I already track my progress via other means. Well, I hear you, but some methods are just better than others. I am wiped out. How many rounds is that so far, Ollie? Four or five? Let's see how many we got. We got one, two, three, four. Okay, we're on the fourth round. Good boy. No, 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 not until the fifth round is over. Now the count is off. There's gotta be an easier way. <laughs> a better way with the DIY workout tracker. Thank you DIY workout tracker. All right, step number 1, we're going to connect a floor flange to a 6-inch long plumbing nipple. So, just screw them together, and now this can be 3/4 inch hardware, which I have here in my hand or it can be half inch hardware. All right, step number two, now you need to get 10 washers. Now, which size do you get? Well, depends upon what size nipple you're using. So, if you're using three quarter inch nipples, use one inch washers, okay, boom. Now, if you're using half inch nipples, you're gonna wanna use seven eighths inch washers, okay? Now, once you have all those washers, go ahead and label all of them and I labeled mine front and back using stickers. Now, you can get the same exact stickers I used via my Amazon affiliate link down below, or you can use paint markers, also available via my Amazon affiliate link down below. All right, step number three, now that you've numbered all your washers, go ahead and add them onto the nipple. All right, next step, now we need to cut a piece of two by four that's the same size as our selected floor flange. Now, if you're using a three quarter inch floor flange, this is gonna be a little easier because the diameter of a three quarter inch floor flange happens to be three and a half inches, which is the same as the width of a piece of two by four. So, if you're using this guy, you'll only have to make one cut. Now, the reason for this piece of two by four is because we are going to affix these together so that the unit doesn't roll away from us when we're going up and slide those washers across. All right, now that we have our piece of two by four, it's time to optionally stain or paint it. And I painted mine black. All right, next step. Now we're gonna take some screws and our drill, and I'm going to affix this floor flange to the piece of two by four so that it's flush on all four sides. All right, next step. Now we're gonna take these two guys and just put them together. All right, next step. Now we're gonna add numbers to all four sides of the two by four. And you can use a paint pen to do this or these two inch stickers available via my Amazon affiliate link down in the description below. So the purpose of these stickers is to act as a multiple. So for rounds one through 10, you're gonna have the number one facing upwards, 11 through 20, you're gonna have the two facing upwards, 21 through 30, the three, and 31 through 40, if you're a beast, you're gonna have that four facing upwards. All right, last step. Now we're gonna add some personalization to the end of this two by four, just to make it fancy. So go to my stickermule.com link down in the description below to design your own high quality decals for this and any other DIY projects that you got going on. All right, one last note before we go, and this step is completely optional. Now, as you can see here, I added a second piece of two by four to this side. Now, it serves no purpose as is. 
I did it just to make the thing look a little bit more symmetrical. However, you could argue that it does provide some degree of enhanced stability and it does provide you the opportunity to add four more multiple stickers if you are crazy and want to do 80 rounds. All right, the option is there. All right, that was the DIY workout counter, a great addition to any gym. Now, let me know what you think. Are there other ways to make this project better? Other methods that you've used that you prefer? Let me know down in the comments below. Now, if you need any supplies to make this project or any other project, such as nipples, washers, floor flanges, paint pens, stickers, etc., please consider using my affiliate links down in the description below. It costs you nothing extra and it helps support the channel. All right, that does it for this project and I look forward to seeing you again in the next project. So be sure to subscribe to the channel to be alerted the moment the next project drops.